Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. I am back with another Funko Pop Peppermint Lane, and I am really sorry this is so late, you guys. I did promise to post all of them that they had, and I do have actually two more that I'm gonna show you. So this is a super late Christmas in July video, so for all of those who are missing the Christmas in July videos, welcome to Christmas in, gosh, I don't know, September? Yeah, okay, so we have number seven of Peppermint Lane. This is from the Pop Christmas Peppermint Lane line, and I am probably going to mispronounce his name. He's, I believe, a squid or an octopus, probably a squid, unsure, but his name is Bjorn Cranmore. It's B-J-O-R-N, so I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that, but here's his box up a close. There is, of course, one more in the series. Does it show him on here? Yeah, it's the polar bear guy. So show that one to you guys in the next video. But I want to get this one open. All right, it's a Funko Pop, so it's not sealed. You can just open up the back and pull the plastic tray out. It is connected with four pop tabs. So you're going to disconnect those and pull them out. This guy actually does not have a stand, so he should stand on his own. Oh, he's gorgeous. So it's I guess a teal color, kind of a blue-green color, and he's got a darker teal color that is freckles across his face. They go right in a line across his eyes and to the sides of his face, as well as the little suction cup tentacle pieces on the inside of his tentacles. And then he's got this purple hat on that actually looks and feels like it's a knitted hat, and it's got the little fluffy ball thing on the end, which is not flocked or anything, but it does have some texture to seem like a... Uh, it's not a pom-pom per se, unless it's like a really fuzzy, worn pom-pom. Pom-pom? Goodness, I can't even speak right now. I'll try to show you up close what I mean about that textural detail. He's, of course, got these big ski goggles on, and he's holding a pair of skis as well as the sticks. He's got a scarf on that's red and white striped, like a peppermint stick, which is super cute. And he's, of course, got his sweater that matches his hat, so purple knit sweater with his purple knit hat. And the, the green ball in his sweater matches the green of his goggles, so he is just really rocking this pro-color strategy. I do appreciate, though, that they've taken this slightly darker teal color, and we've got some shading in here. From the top of his legs, just under his sweater, it kind of fades out from a darker into a lighter color. So it looks really, really nice. We've got a little bit of that on his face as well. He's even got some little cheek blush here of pink. Super well done, gorgeous figure. It does have the 360 degree head turn, which is also nice. That's usually the only joint that we have in Funkos. Oh, and there's texture on the scarf as well and the sweater. The sweater looks more like straight vertical lines as far as the texture, and the scarf is more of a knitted texture with then the strings at the end. So lots and lots of detail. Even on the bottom of these ski sticks, you can see it's got the holes that are in between the bottom circle pieces. I'm sorry, I don't ski, so I don't actually know the correct terminology of that, so I'm I'm sorry. I don't know what that's called, but they have that detail in there as well, and then the little poke sticks. I kind of wish they'd put something fun on the skis. I think that could have been neat, but it's not terrible that they didn't. I don't, other than that, I really don't know what they would have done to make this figure better. He is very well made. He's very well colored. He's got a lot of texture, a lot of detail as far as the texture and the paint. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's so cute. I love this Peppermint Lane series. All right, guys, let me know what you guys thought of number seven down in the comments below. Did you get him? Are you planning on getting him? Do you guys collect this series? Do you guys make a whole, you know, Christmas winter display in your house somewhere? What, what all do you guys do with them? Let me know down in the comments below. Or maybe it's for you, for a kid, for a collector. I don't know, but let me know. And then, if you enjoyed the content that you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below as well. That's completely free for you guys to do, but it really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this one on the channel. So we appreciate all of those of you who have already subscribed and of course all of you that are new and it's subscribing now. So thank you. All right, while you're there, you can hit the thumbs up to leave a like and go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there, including all the rest of the Funko Peppermint Lane, except any upcoming ones, which of course I will post on the channel. And yeah, all sorts of other stuff. So I'm sure there's something on there that's fun for you. Go check it out. And until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.